my lord. We found it. Well, then what are you waiting for? Bring it in! Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to the channel if this is your first time. This is a video where I'm going to be looking at uh, potential reading for April 2024. So, basically, it's not really a TBR in a strict sense because there's tons of books I'm going to talk about. And I usually read <clears throat> between six and nine books a month, usually, depending on how big they are and that kind of thing. Plus, I'm in the middle of writing lots of short stories at the moment, so I'm in a bit of a writing phase. So that may well affect it. I might even read less books than six to nine books anyway this month. This month. But I thought it'd be fun to do a video talking about what I'm looking at as far as the possible books I might read. Um, just a quick caveat. Um, I am a host for the Starathon and I will be reading some history books, but I'm going to do a separate video about the history books that I'm going to be looking at um, because I think it would just be better if it's just, you know, it's just a history based video. So this one is about the fiction and stuff like that. So, um, First off, uh, I'm part of a, a group that are doing a project called All About Holly. And we're now on the fifth book in this series of books where we um, are looking at all the books written by Stephen King that feature the character Holly Gibney. And we're now on If It Bleeds, because this story uh, is just a short story that features Holly Gibney. So we're going to be a slightly shorter uh, ambition this one for this month um, but uh, quite recent and I'm really intrigued because uh, we we kind of getting to know Holly quite well now and then this is just before the final book which is the one that he recently released just called Holly so yeah if it bleeds is definitely going to be read in April also something a book I've already started Children of Men, this is part of the End of the World Book Club that we've got on Voxer. If you're curious about this, these, these is, uh, like, this is a, um, this is a series of um, books that we're all reading together. They're either dystopian or post-apocalyptic books, hence the End of the World Book Club idea. And we read 1984, we, and we're going to read Brave New World after this, uh, and we read Ch Children of Men. So, so yeah, um, awesome stuff. So definitely going to be f finishing that this month. Also, um, I did, because I was um, uh, remembering some of my favourite short stories, I, I read one of the stories in this collection by J.G. Ballard called Belenium. I read that again just to kind of um, uh, get me uh, thinking again when I did this video about short stories. Uh, and... I want to I want to read the rest of this book. So Terminal Beach, I'm going to finish that as well this this month in April. So other things I might read. Um, so these first three books, four books. These first four books are more explorations in some of my favourite authors. So um, I'd really uh, want to read Sweet Thursday by John Steinbeck. Uh, so this is set in the same kind of setting as uh canary row and canary row is a brilliant book so so yeah i'm looking forward to reading sweet thursday hopefully i'll read that this month a uh, big thing that i really want to get to now because it's been floating about and it's about time i start reading this and I'm, I'm buddy reading this in a casual way with dave dave and olive from book blather and uh i tend to read quite slowly so I think he'll catch me up if I um, if I do start this. Uh, so I do want to start this because uh, I've wanted to read it for ages. And we keep joking about the fact that we haven't done it yet. And uh, Cage of Souls. Um, we're talking about reading a few different Adrian Tchaikovsky things. We've got something that we hope to do later, but we'll talk about that another time. But, uh, but yeah, I'm a fan of Adrian Tchaikovsky and Cage of Souls looks awesome. So I do want to start this. Uh, possibly at the end of April, not sure, but definitely want to start this as well during the month. Um, Jose Saramago is one of my favourite authors and I want to read Seeing finally because 
Again, it's another one that's been floating about, and I just feel like it's about time I've read it. So this is actually a direct sequel to Blindness, which is one of the best books ever written. Uh, so, uh, yeah, that intrigues me. And, uh, yeah, um, Saramago is a really interesting writer. So I definitely want to read that. And uh, I'm getting close to... I've read uh, all of uh, Hiromi Kawakami's books because um, I've been reading her stuff quite consistently over the last sort of year and uh, this is one that uh, I've got that I haven't read yet the 10 loves sorry yeah the 10 loves of Mr Nishino so I do want to buy Dragon Palace as well uh, which is a short story book but this is a short novel and uh, yeah uh, there's not a lot left once I've read this and the new one so that'd be cool so a few other things that I could read I've recently managed to find this which is awesome Absolutely fantastic uh, copy, brand new copy it seems, a hardback of the Final Girl Support Group. And I really, really liked the other Grady Hendrix book I read. So uh, I'm very tempted to read this straight away as well. So I just bought this. It's only like 30p, madness. Um, I might read a hard case crime book and this is probably the one I'll read next if I do read one. So it's Eric Stanley Gardner, uh, Shields Can't Cash Chips. Um, yeah, if I read a hard case crime book, which I might do, it might be that one, It'll probably be that one. So that's another one. And I've now got Earthlings and I'm really, uh, psyched up to read this now. So probably read this in April. It's definitely, uh, high on the TBR. So yeah, this is a likely one. So if you've read Earthlings, let me know what you think. Um, I get the impression it's quite mad. Um, but, uh, but yeah, uh, definitely want to read that. And then uh, a few other things as well. Um, I recently found um, Gabrielle Zevin's uh, The Storied Life of AJ Kif Fif Fip Ki Fip Fikri. The Storied Life of AJ Fikri. And uh, it looks really cool. So I would really like to read this as well. But we'll see how we get on in the month. Um, but this is definitely one I really want to read. And I loved Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow. So I'm definitely tempted. Um, there's three books here that are all banned books. So as far, for, for the uh, band 24 for 24 project that MJ initiated, I could read I Know Where the Cage Bird Sings. I have read it before many, many years ago, but I could read that. I could read Handmaid's Tale, especially as Dave and Oliver read Handmaid's Tale this month. So that's to come. I'm tempted because then we can talk about it on our show. So... Uh, Handmaid's Tale is a possibility and it's the turn of Fahrenheit 451 in my Ray Bradbury project so that's a likely one as well so some really good stuff there all sorts of different styles uh, these are all things I could read in April and some of them are, I'm definitely going to read those early ones I'm definitely going to read there's some stuff I think everything I've just mentioned I'm really really keen to read so we'll see how we get on, see how many I can get through. Acknowledging the fact that I am writing at the moment and uh, I'm really enjoying that process and um, I've got the spark of creativity with the stories, which is really good. So, um, yeah, I'm three stories in and uh, it's shaping up to have a slightly different character to the other book. But, uh, yeah, um, I'm really looking forward to that. And the other thing to mention is the fact that I am going to be reading some poetry books. So I've got this Roger McGough book, Waving at Trains. Let me see that. It's glare. Waving at Trains. And two Lem Sisse books, because I think he's brilliant. So there's one called Listener. And there's one called Gold from the Stone. So I'm going to read um, these three books as well. Uh, partly because I want to put some more packed poetry videos up but also um i just really want to read them so uh so yeah uh what i'm hope i really hope these don't inspire me to write more poetry because i want to concentrate on the short stories but there is a poetry collection idea i've got which will possibly be written after the short story book possibly uh but anyway this sometimes sometimes i, I start reading poetry again and then i get inspired to uh start playing with words 
uh, you know, so so that could happen. And and you know, Lemon Sissé is it's really really good. So yeah, uh, all of that stuff is all in the mix. Uh, let me know what you think. Which ones you think I should read first? And uh, April shaping up to be a good month. Uh, the half of April I'm off work, which is great. So I should have lots of time to read. Although some of that were on holiday as well. But you know, um, it's a good month. So let me know what you think. And thanks for watching. Stay curious, everybody.